What's up, YouTube? It's the girl Ashley Style, and um, today is December 4th, 2014. And what's popping today? Oh, yeah, tonight is the Tiana Taylor concert at SOB's, and the girl will be in the building, so I'm super crunk. Um, just finished shooting a look for my other channel, but um, and for my vlog, but. I got some kind of UPS thing in the mail and I have a package that I just simply did not order. I don't know what the hell this is right now. I'm wondering if my mom sent me something, but I ordered some boots from H&M on Black Friday and I got them in the mail and I love them. I got them yesterday and I ordered something from eBay and I also ordered something from um, Boohoo. So... I need, I want to wear that to the concert tonight. However, it is not here. So maybe this is that. But it doesn't say Boohoo. And Boohoo usually comes in that black bag. We all know that. So I don't know. So I figured I would film <laughs> my surprise box. Hopefully it's something from my mom. But it says my name and my phone number. Which I'm kind of concerned about. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So... What else? I'm super crunk about going to the concert because I never go anywhere. Oh, y'all get into my inches. Yes, the girl got inches for Tiana Taylor tonight. Yes. Um. Yeah, so that's what's popping. I don't know if I can hold the camera and open this package at the same time. Come on, come on. Let me get the tripod. Okay, so before I get the tripod set up and everything. Um, so I applied for an internship the other day. And I haven't really told anybody except my friend Corey and I think that's it. And my friend Shanice because it just so happened that they were there when I got the email. And so I have to tell the people. Um, God, I'm bad. Never mind. <laughs> It doesn't really say who it is. Um, it says customer. I don't know who the heck customer care is. So it has to be something. Unless my mom did use this box. She didn't tell me she was sending me anything. I like packages. Maybe it's a customer care. <laughs> Whoa. This is so nice. What does this look like? A birthday present or something. Lord. It's hair. Oh, Lord. Lord, Lord. <gasps> oh, Lord. What is really going on? Uh, it's hair. <laughs> nah, this must be from Chantel. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. Oh, my God. Sorry, can y'all see my face? Okay, so... This is for my my love, Chantel. Um, I'm going to get you. I know you're watching this. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Why is this in here? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Chantel. I can't wait to try these on. I might not wear this to the concert. I might wear one of these. So, um, I love you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So, what I have planned for the rest of the day... When I turn this camera off, I'm trying to try these wigs out. That's what I'm going to do. But then after that, I'm um, going to try to go find something to wear since I don't think the Boohoo bag is going to come today. Um, I hope it comes today. I'm going to track it in a minute. Um, Yeah, so that's what I have planned for the day.
about the beat Say yeah, say you love me Thank you. 
I think you are the most beautiful girl in the world. And I thank my baby, my man, Iman Shumper. The concert was absolutely amazing. Apartment shopping in Rockefeller Center. I'm not sure if I said this in the last video, but I did find a room for rent and what you see next is me picking up the keys and having an emotional moment. What's up YouTube? It's the girl Ashley's live and I just picked up my keys to the room and I'm so afraid like I'm keeping Nervous about this than I was about moving, and I just am trying to. I wish these were like tears of joy, but I'm so scared of the decision that I made. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I'm just praying, just asking God to cover me and to take this new fear away from me because I know it's not of God. I can't. Um, I feel like I'm going to throw up. I can just. I don't know if this is major to me. I just wish things were different. I wish this was in my place. And my place over me, I feel a lot more comfortable with that. But it's not the case. So. Um, why does one of my eyes look like that? So this is a moment. Good or bad, I don't know. What can I just do? I think it's hard. So... I'm not excited. I'm not happy. I don't feel good things about this at all. I feel very different. I'm just insecure. But um, it comes to people who's not going to stop recording. But yeah, peace. Thank you for sending on the rent, 2014, and it has been running for three weeks straight, I feel like. And, um, I'm headed to Ikea to get some stuff for the room. And now I'm trying to get my life together. Hopefully I'll find what I'm looking for in Ikea.
what's up so i just made it back from ikea and i didn't get much because the budget is <laughs> so i just got a duvet and a mirror and a little light something else i really don't remember the name but Oh yeah, towels, plates, cups. That's all I got for this year. Um, when I get paid, I'll go back Friday and get some more stuff. The stuff I really um, didn't have the budget to get today. So it's going down, peeps. I uh, feel better today than I did yesterday about it. I'm still very nervous. Um, I have some really good friends who encourage me a lot and i'm grateful for them i'm sorry i keep rubbing my eyes but i'm so tired so i'm about to go out and get some boxes and some food since i can't cook i'm gonna get some cereal milk bread and ham and then i'm probably gonna cook something here maybe take that too so yeah i'm beat bye guys oh wait 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 I need to say that I love Ikea. Ikea is amazing. Like, I've never been before. It's my first, that was my first time. And I really, really love, like, I could go crazy. And I'm not even into interior decorating like that. But, yeah. Nice to <laughs> Ashley style and I'm getting ready to go out with my co-workers and so I figured out some getting ready. Today is December 13th, 2014. 12, 13, 14. So yeah, we're gonna go to this club called LQ. Um it looks kinda ratchet, so I'm just remixing something that I already wore. Yes, I love this top. I'm wearing it again. But, Finishing up my makeup and ting. I love my makeup and ting. I don't know if I'm wearing this lip or not.
actually sign and oh my voice sounds horrible. Let's see me. So yeah, whatever. I'm sitting in my bed getting ready to do this phone interview for the internship. Surprise. And um I'm just really praying that I get this opportunity because if I get this opportunity then it will make my coming here total perfection. Not complete success as I still have to learn things on the internship and put those things into practice but <clears throat> it's, that would be amazing right you know it's just really what I want to do and I'm just like oh this would be perfection um God is so faithful you know it's like at this moment right now my life is in complete turmoil I have just found a place and losing my hours and losing my job and everything and for whatever reason I'm just believing that all of that, all of that is for my good. You know, like this is happening, that God is freeing up my schedule so that I can do the things that I need to do or that I was born to do. And so everything the devil meant for my bad is really for my good and I really believe that and I have faith that everything's going to work out like I I was stressing the other day when the, the other job laid me off the more that I thought about it I just realized like God is in control what do you have to worry about? Nothing. Has he failed you yet? You know at the end of the day, if anything were to happen, you would be okay. So, let the fear go and let faith come in. Because, you've done it before battles, the challenges, you faced them and you survived and you made it, okay? So that means that there's nothing, no weapon formed against you shall prosper because you're always going to be okay. You just have to remember that. And I know it's easy to say that when things are going well, but it's really hard to say it when things are going bad. And, uh, but I believe that everything is better than be okay. I feel like things are going to be amazing. And things are going to happen that I've been waiting my whole life for them to happen. So I just wanted to share because I'm sitting there reflecting, which I don't do much lately. But just reflecting on this journey, this all the things that have happened in my life in the matter of four months. I never knew that at the beginning of 2014, I mean, that this is how my year would end, that I'd be in New York, that I'd be trying to pursue my dream. You know, I could still be sitting behind that desk, leasing apartments, being unfulfilled, dream deferred, unhappy. And this has not been easy, and I've been tested in ways and I've lost me, and I've cried, and I've been happy, and I've been excited, and it's been fun, and it's been real. But it has not been easy. But I know that it's all gonna work out. Which is just crazy to me. So, anyway, I'm gonna finish doing my prep for my interview, and hopefully have good news to report. If I don't have good news to report, guess what? She's still going to be alright. She's still going to be a stylist. She's still going to work that out. Um, my voice is a little manly. Hopefully, don't judge me on that. I'm getting over a little cup. That or the turn up from last night. Yes. But anyway, um, 
yeah, I just, I'm sharing. Um, again, thanks for everyone who watches these videos and who uh, prays for me. And, and I hope that in some way, if you're going through something similar, then you can look at this and say, it's not just me. Somebody else is dealing with the same thing that I'm dealing with. And they're going to be okay. And so now. I'm so excited I could kiss the ground right now. What's good YouTube? So today is day one of internship. I'm super excited. It is a trial period to see if our personalities mesh with the team or my personality. And if everything works out and going forward, I'll be interning. So that'd be really, really cool. Um, I'm just wearing my black blazer, striped tee ripped jeans or tights underneath and my buckled a little buckled a little buckled cowboy combat boots sorry and I'm sick so this is really horrible because I sound horrible and I've been sneezing like crazy but we are gonna pass and we're gonna impress and so I'm super excited this is one of like to me, the biggest phase of my entire life in existence, so it's pretty important. I know that some people will be like, it's not that I can do, but just factoring in age, now I'm doing an internship, moving to New York, following my dreams, you know, so it's a big deal to me because I always thought, oh, you're too old to get an internship now, and you don't have the credentials, and such and such, such and do. But today is the one. And I'm super excited, and I'll tell you how it went when I get home. Bye. Okay, guys. So this is my first task. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be heading to Mark Jacobs, but I'm so over excited. Like I'm. Here. To add to the best day ever, I was able to check out Nicki Minaj's Crown interview. It was so intimate and personal. I had a blast. If a woman is pimpy, people only see it as bitchy. Or difficult. To right. But no, I see it as genius. I see it as, and the thing about after the second album happened, there was a lot of talk. And one thing I wanted to stop was the talk. Like you'll never ever have a discussion ever again about is Nicki Minaj a skilled MC, and that's all I wanted because that's all I fought for. Like I really did this, and it's, it's not about yeah. It's a you know, hey, girls want to look cute and blah blah blah, but I really just want to be respected. I What's up, YouTube? <laughs> the girl. Ashley Style. And I'm recording this video like this because, <laughs> because I think the lighting is best here. No, okay, you have it. Um, I didn't get to recap yesterday because I had an eventful night, so yeah. But I'll just say that. It was pretty awesome. Um, I got to go to different showrooms and drop off some of the items that we were using. And then I also got to do a pickup and so it was really cool. Afterwards we sat down and we did a brief summary of how ad campaigns work and so that was awesome as well. Um, I solidified my schedule so it was pretty awesome. And immediately following I came home and got ready to go and see Nicki Minaj do her crown interview at Le Poisson and 
that was freaking amazing. It was so intimate and she was so wide open. And she just, and I just felt very parallel to her as far as her discussing her life and her art and her relationships and just everything, just as a woman, you know? So it was really good. And I'm now getting ready to go to work. And I'm not excited about that fact. I'd much rather be on to internship now. Granted, I know internship is going to get more difficult over time, but still, it's nicer to be doing something that you actually care about. So, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put my game face on because I need these coins to pay this rent. Um, oh, shadow, sorry. Um, what's today? Today is the 17th. I'm going to I think today might be the 18th. I don't know. Let me check. Nope, I was right the first time. Today is December 17th, 2014. And I have to start my job hunting because, well, I already started back. So you guys be on this journey with me a little longer until I can find another job. Because I can't afford to pay my rent with the job that I have. So, yeah. That's it. Peace. Guess who went to Donut Plant, saw it on the Food Network, and wanted to try it out. So I did. So there's no prophecy in the Bible or any prophecy that hasn't come to pass in this day's time unless it's the book of Revelation, which is still to, yet to come. So as we think about Christmas and we think about um, this time, it's so much more than the secular. It's so much more than the gift, give, give, gift giving, the eating. That's a great part of it. But we look at how Christ came together and how his birth brought the lowly in society, brought the shepherds, how it brought together um, those that even Mary was a handmaiden. So he was born as a great being to someone that was considered by society being very low in the society on the totem pole. So as we look at those things and just kind of recognize this, that God can use anyone, you know, um, to carry any of his gifts and purposes through. So whatever God has put in you or whatever you have been blessed to do, whatever your transition may be, Whatever your gifting is, just remember Christ at this time. Remember What's up, peeps? It's the girl, Ashley Style, and it's Christmas Day. Um, I haven't really enjoyed my Christmas yet because I've just been sitting in my room all day. And it's now like 5 o'clock, and my friend invited me to his house, but his event doesn't start until 6.30. You guys know Corey. Oh, I'm getting ready to finally head to Corey's. Um, I'll just say that this is one of the many sacrifices that I'm making right now in life in order to get where I'm trying to go. You, you understand what I'm saying? Um, it's not easy. I miss my mom. I miss my dog. But what are you going to do? This is life. So hopefully, I mean, I have to remind myself that Christmas isn't about me. It's about Jesus and in celebrating his birth. Um, and that's the easiest way to get over the pity party that I'm having. So, yeah, I'm about to go turn up. Hopefully, when I go to Corey's, everything will be great. And I'll forget all about the fact that I'm not with my loved ones because I'll be with my loved ones. So, yeah. All right, guys.
my December update. I have God, I don't even know where to start. <sighs> um again, I promise that I will keep it 100 with you guys as far as like how this journey is going and it's not easy and yeah <laughs> basically that's the deal it's not easy um i'm trying to think of how to sum all of this whole entire month up i know that in the last vlog i told you guys about the situation with my employment so things have gotten worse because at this point I cannot afford to pay my rent. It's the honest truth. So I've been like hustling trying to get people to give me their hours and things like that so that I can pay my rent. That's the focus. But there's more to providing for oneself than being able to pay your rent. You need to be able to feed yourself. And um, I can't do that right now, so it's hard. Um, but God is good, and He makes sure that I at least have something to eat every day. Um, it might not be a complete meal, but I've eaten something every day, so I'm grateful for that. Um, he made a way for me to pay the rent when I didn't have it. Um, God, this is so honest. I don't know. Um, okay. I'm just going to keep it real because that's who I am. Um, I had to take out a payday loan in order to pay my rent last week. Um, the good thing is I think that going forward I may be pretty much okay. You know, um, but I have to pay myself a bill that is not probably going to happen. Here's the issue with that. I need my cell phone in order to do the things I need to do at my internship. So, uh, my mom said that she would help me with that. As far as food goes, just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, one day, all that I had to eat was a bowl of Rice Krispies with no milk. Um, thank God for my friends, like, my friends will, like, leave me whatever part of their lunch that they're going to eat so that I can have something to eat later on. I know that sounds crazy, but it's just the truth. I, I don't want to give you this idea, like, you can come here with nothing and just have everything because you can you may be able to do that. This is just my story. And I just want to be real because this may be your story. And I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me or anything like that because everything's going to be fine. No. I have been looking for another job. Um, but that process is a little complicated because I don't have internet when I'm living. And um, when I'm free, I do go to the library and try and I've applied to a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I would say that I started at the beginning of December very optimistic and very, um, like, happy and go lucky and all that good stuff. And I'm ending the month feeling kind of sad about where I am and it's just not easy. It's the simple truth. Um, I do think that things are about to get better. Because um, I've seen that the schedule is going to be a little better, not where I was before, but better now. So that's a good way to talk about that, and I'm grateful for that. But at the same time, Christmas was hard. I love my family. I love my mom. I wanted to see her. But because of the situation with my employment, I wasn't able to do that because I couldn't afford to do that. So I was depressed about that um but thank thank god again for friends my friend Corey invited me over to his new place um and we had a great time and we had a deep discussion and you know it was good but it's still not my family you know what i mean so it's been tough um i just 
Actually, I'm trying to think of what else. I am gonna record some videos for <laughs> my dating channel. I just, like, I feel like I'm in such a bad place with that, like, that I don't even want to record videos because I'm like, I just want to be funny. I don't want to talk about this, you know, but I think some of it is things that you guys can relate to. And I also have my own thoughts on the New York men. And so I'm going to record some videos for that, but I just don't even know when I'll be able to upload it. Again, I don't have the internet here and the library takes forever to for me to upload that cooking video. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much some of my month of December. But the good thing about all of that is that I'm still alive. I'm still here. I still have a job. I have a wonderful internship doing what I love to do. Um, so things are looking up. And I just have to keep focus on that and not all the things that are not going well. Um, Health-wise, I've had some setbacks, but we won't even get into all of that because hopefully for the month of January, I'll be able to say that those things have worked themselves out. Oh yeah, um, what else has happened? I mean, no, I think that's pretty much it. Like, I don't have anything to say without rambling on and on and on. I hope that you guys are enjoying these vlogs. Thanks for all your comments, your support, and your prayers. And that's it. Um, I'll see you in January. Peace.